Hi everybody, welcome to another tutorial on Beep Street Drumbo, the modular groove box. In this video I'm going to quickly show you how you can easily resample um, a pattern or a composition that you created in Drumbo. So let's start very quickly on track number one. <clears throat> let's add um, a, a preset like an instrument rack uh, and let's choose something like the John bass. <clears throat> let's um, select keys and let's create a bit of a pattern. Uh, something uh, like that. Let's play. Let's delay that uh, D to something like that. Let's try. Perfect. Now let's go on track number two. Let's click add and let's add a sampler preset. And let's choose from the sampler a kick. And let's insert that for each, every four steps. Then let's go to track number three and do the same. Let's add uh, a simpler preset and let's expand the drum and choose the snare. And let's add the snare on beat number, steps number four and 12. Let's play. Perfect. Now let's expand the view <clears throat> here where you have all your tracks. When you play, you can see the first three tracks which are armed. Okay, let's expand, let's move to the right inside track number four uh, so that we can um, insert uh, something else, a new module. Here we go. Now let's go in here, let's go back, let's go to the mixer and let's choose mixer now. Let's add to the mixer the first, the output from the first track the output from the second track and the output from the third track. Then <clears throat> let's go to track number four and let's connect the input of the track to the mixer that we just output that we just created. Okay, let's minimize that view. Let's go to track number four. Now in here, let's remove the MIDI to CV because we don't need that. Oops. Let's click on the plus sign, let's go to generator and let's add um, a flex sampler for now. Okay, we will. I will do a proper tutorial moving forward. So, <clears throat> let's click on the recording button, let's select as a source of modular input and then let's select as the sync the pattern. Now, because I've selected the pattern as a sync, when I click record it will wait for the pattern to start. When I press again record, if the pattern is still playing, it will wait for the end of that pattern to stop. So I will click the record button, then I will press the play button and then I will like press straight away the record button so it will record only one pattern. If I press the record button when the pattern is being played again for a second time, it will record that pattern twice. So let's try. Okay, now I stopped um, the um, the uh, playing the pattern from the first three tracks. Now let's click here on the uh, waveform that we just recorded. Let's click play. Okay, perfect. And if we go out from here, press the record button again, change the mode, for example, to loop. Actually, let's add again. Uh, the uh, the MIDI to CV which I just removed because I want to listen to MIDI to triggers. Okay, as you can see, it's very easy to resample what you created in trouble. I hope you found this useful and see you next time. Bye.